Hello everybody, how are you going? I hope that you are well. As many of you know, I lived and worked in Queenstown, New Zealand for the entirety of 2016. I worked in a travel agency for a short amount of time and I also worked on the front desk of a hotel where I sometimes acted as concierge. So I am fairly confident that I am about to bring you the very best list of incredible activities that you can do in Queenstown. So firstly has got to be bungee jumping. Queenstown is the place to go bungee jumping. It is home to the Kawarau Bridge, which is the world's first commercial bungee jump. It is 43 meters high over the gorgeous turquoise waters and you can even choose to dip your fingers in, you can dunk your whole half body in, or you can just not touch the water at all. You also have the mighty Nevis bungee, which is 134 meters high. You're suspended in like this cable car in the middle of this humongous canyon. The location is just absolutely outrageous. It's the highest bungee in New Zealand, it's one of the highest commercial bungees in the whole world, and it's one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. And I think it should be on everyone's bucket list. <laughs> and there is a third bungee right in the middle of Queenstown called the Ledge Bungee. It's located at the top of the skyline gondola, so you have this incredible view over Queenstown. The bungee itself is 47 meters, and it's a freestyle bungee, which means that you can jump off, flip off, run off, however way you want, because you're just attached at the sort of waist and body. You're not attached at the feet at all, so you can just fling yourself off however you want. And all of these bungees are run by AJ Hackett, so 100% safety record, very reputable company. The next I have to mention jet boating. Queenstown is home to the original famous shot over jet, which has been zooming down the crystal clear shot over river for over 50 years. It's taken celebrities, even Kate and Wills have taken a spin on the shot over jet. And Queenstown is literally the perfect place for this activity with the ridiculously stunning canyons that you get to go through. But I actually don't think that the Shot Over Jet is the best company to go jet boating with and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies so I can tell you what I want. My favourite company to go jet boating with is the Skipper's Canyon Jet Boat who also operate on the Shot Over River but a bit further upstream in Skipper's Canyon. And the views down there are just as beautiful as the Shot Over Jet However, to get to Skipper's Canyon, you have to drive down Skipper's Canyon Road, or at least they have to drive you down Skipper's Canyon Road, which is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. You're literally like driving along this cliff edge and it just dropped hundreds of meters down. They have a 100% safety record, don't you worry. But the whole experience, getting there, doing the ride, getting back, they give you a whole like tour of Queenstown's history and everything, that takes three hours. However, the shot over jet takes about 25 minutes because you just have the jet boat ride. And I think Skipper's Canyon Jet is literally about $4 more. So personally, I think it's worth it, but it is less known because it's not the famous original one. So that is a little insider tip for you. Another heart pumping adrenaline activity, which really is the best of the best best of its kind in Queenstown is the Canyon Swing. And there are two in Queenstown, so there's the Nevis Swing, which is at the same location as the Nevis Bungee. This one's the biggest. You have the biggest free fall and swing out over this humongous canyon. But my favourite is the Shot Over Canyon Swing, which is only slightly smaller, but it is a freestyle canyon swing, which means that you can jump off, flip off, however way you want. They give you hundreds of options for you. You can slide off, you can even sit on a tricycle and tricycle off, you can be in a bin, you can be hanging on as long as you can until you can't hang on any longer and then you just fall and that's quite terrifying and the staff make you even more terrified. They really play around with you to make it as scary as possible but it is a lot of fun and I think I've done it like six times now. All a different way that I've jumped off. So the next activity is not quite as adrenaline pumping but equally as epic and that is to take a day trip to Milford Sound also known as the eighth wonder of the world. Milford Sound is literally just one of the most ridiculously stunning scenes you will see in your entire life. To drive it's quite far, it takes about four and a half hours because you have to drive all the way around the outside of Lake Walker Tipu and then into Fiordland National Park. Um, there's not like a direct route, unfortunately, or fortunately, because the drive is absolutely beautiful, but it's very, very long. But it is your cheapest option, unless you rent a car yourself. And then when you get to the fjord itself, typically you'll hop on a boat for a couple of hours and cruise into the fjord and back. There are also kayaking tours. I believe there are fishing tours too. A slightly quicker way to get there is to fly there. It only takes 40 minutes. However, it will set you back around $400. But if that is in your budget, I highly recommend doing it because obviously the views 
when you're flying over the mountains are just absolutely insane. And if you do want to do that, I recommend a company called Air Milford. They are rated number one on TripAdvisor of absolutely any activity you can do in Queenstown, and they really are top notch. But there is an even flashier way to get to Milford Sound, and that is by helicopter. I feel like a real spoiled brat to say that I have actually done this, and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and it's just ridiculous. I actually struggle to find the words to describe how good it really is because it's the kind of thing you just do and leaves you speechless. But it will set you back around about a thousand New Zealand dollars, so obviously not in everyone's price range. However, if you manage to bag yourself a job at a five-star hotel like I did, you may get lucky too. Number five is something for all of the Lord of the Rings fans out there, and that is to go on the Lord of the Rings tour, of course. The area around Queenstown is an absolute hub for Lord of the Rings locations, and they are all unbelievably spectacular. Nomad Safaris are a fabulous company to go with. They have an incredible knowledge of the area and they will take you to exact locations and give you proper picture matches. So it's super cool if you are a true Lord of the Rings nerd. If you can't tell, I'm not a massive fan of the films myself, but if you are, this is definitely an activity that you do not want to miss. The next activity, it's not going to get your adrenaline pumping, but it is an iconic part of Queenstown. So it's definitely something not to miss if you would like the whole Queenstown experience. And that is the TS SS Enslaw, which is a steamship that has been cruising back and forth across Lake Wakatipu for over a hundred years. It transports people several times a day, every day, to the beautiful Walter Peak Farm where you can take farm tours. They put on an epic buffet lunch or a dinner, depending on when you go, and it is actually renowned for being the best meal in the whole of Queenstown. So if being on a historic steamship is not enough, then the best meal in Queenstown is definitely something else to get you going on it. Now number seven is even more low-key, but for all the right reasons, and that is to spend a little bit of time at Onsen Hot Pools, which is a spa of sorts, and it consists of lots of private jacuzzis in little cabins, which are open over the beautiful view over the Shotover River and valid. I mean, it's a bit of a honeymoon experience or just a backpacker romance experience, you know, treat yourselves. Or of course it is something that you can just do with friends. It's somewhere where you can relax and get some epic pictures taken. If you do want it to be extra romantic though, they have like this sunset candlelight package and it looks so dreamy, but save it for the right person, you know? Number eight is to take a trip up the Skyline gondola and go looching at the top. Skyline actually have a few locations over the world, but Queenstown is arguably the one with the absolute best views. You can also get an epic buffet lunch or dinner up there. You can also go on a stargazing tour up there, which is really cool. Even if you just end up walking up and walking back down, that's still a really epic thing to do for the views and definitely something that I recommend you do not miss in Queenstown. So that is my eight bucket list activities for Queenstown. And all of the things that I have just mentioned are things that either you can only do in Queenstown or Queenstown is the best in the best of the world to do these things. Which is why they should all be at the top of your bucket list when you're there. However, there is of course so many other things that you can do in Queenstown as well, which I will very briefly touch on. Skydiving, for example, amazing in Queenstown. Endzone is the biggest company and you dive directly over Queenstown. There's also Skydive Paradise where they drive you over to Glenorchy and you are diving over the other side of Lake Wakatipu, which is equally as beautiful views and that one's a bit cheaper as well. You can also go hang gliding and paragliding and I recommend a company called Skytrek for that. You can also go white water rafting with Queenstown Rafting and they they take you either down the Shotova River or the Kawarau River. However, in my opinion, that white water rafting is very low key. I mean, I know I'm a daredevil, but it was lovely and leisurely beautiful. But perhaps if you want to go white water rafting, but you're scared that it's a bit too intense for you, definitely recommend going in Queenstown because yes, in my opinion, very leisurely. Canyoning is another full on activity that you can do, which you really get your whole body stuck into. You can go parasailing over Lake Wakatipu. You can also do jet skiing, jet boarding, and flyboarding over Lake Wakatipu, which looks awesome. I've never done it, but it also looks very chilly. And there are, of course, many winter activities to do in Queenstown when the snow starts to fall, but I'm gonna do a whole nother video on those. I'm also gonna be making a video on my top 10 hikes to do in Queenstown, and hiking I haven't actually mentioned at all in this video, but it's definitely something that you can't miss when you go to Queenstown. It's awesome, but look out for that video. And I have also already made a video on living and working in Queenstown, so if that is something that you are considering, I will link that video down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your trip to Queenstown and if you have no plans to go there, I hope you're starting to make plans now. It is without a doubt one of the most epic places in the world. There
there is definitely a reason why I went to go live there for a year. Please subscribe to my channel for more New Zealand and around the world content and I will see you in the next video. Bye!